Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Adam King and boy, I wasn't going to talk about this, I was going to continue talking about the, the other Thrones Online, but the Ma Mass Effect Legendary Edition, I've heard rumours that Bioware was going to cut a few things from it. Now, for those of you who do not know, Mass Effect the Le Legendary Edition is supposed to be a remastered not a remake. For, the, for those of you who don't know the difference between the two, a remaster is taking everything that is in, let's say, an old game, right? And they want to remaster it for the new generation. So what would that, so what would the developers would do is take the old game and bring up the graphics, bring up the graphics, bring up the the performance. And they would not change anything about the game. They wouldn't change the game story, they wouldn't change the game characters, and they wouldn't change the combat. That's a remaster. A remake, it's in the title. They they remake they remade the game. Which means that they could change the story, change the uh, characters and change the combat that's a remake so with that little distinction I saw in an article that they were gonna change or cut a sexualized character and if you played Mass Effect 2, then you know that the character does zoom in on um, Miranda Lawson's uh, butt. That's totally fucking fine. Because if you know anything about the character of Miranda Lawson, is that she... It's not, not really a spoiler, but, you know, she, she will say, say, say to you that she is genetically perfect. Which means her entire body is perfect, including her butt. And she wears skin-tight clothing. Ladies, if any if uh, any fucking ladies are watching. If any of you gals wear skin-tight clothing, you want people to, to look. Come on. Like, for fuck's sake. But the one, but the Bioware employee that was doing this interview, he did say the good thing things about about the Legendary Edition, which obviously is increasing graphics, incre increasing performance, plus forty, yeah, four forty DLCs. For the trilogy, and that is the old D DLCs for Mass Mass Effect One, Two, and Three, and possibly some new ones as well. I say possibly; it's all speculation, but <laughs> uh, but here's a dire fucking warning to Bioware. I'm a long time Bioware fan. I have been, well, technically I've been a Bioware fan since, well, since Mass Effect. Then I went over to Dragon Dragon Age. I like the franchises. Mass Effect was the very first franchise I fell in love with. So, with that in mind, by the way, if you change anything from the original three fucking games, you know, the story, the characters, there's... The, co uh, the co combat, uh, uh, I don't really mind it. But you change any fucking thing, you will you would have destroyed all fucking good will. Because do you know why? Because I will make a fucking video, just like this one, saying to every fucker, to not buy your fucking game. If you change anything from the original trilogy, 
anything. And when I say anything, I mean anything of the characters. If you want a, cer a certain character to not be that character anymore, which is stupid, if you change the story, because I remember the story of all three fucking games. But, but, but with that being, but that with that being said, the Mass Effect Three controversial endings, you, you won't even lift a finger. <laughs> so they they'll be staying in, but. You want to censor Miranda's butt, but like I said, uh, motorcycle coming. But the one who was given the the byway employee, the one that was given the interview, in the in the interview when you read his fucking words, he well he or she doesn't seem to indicate that Bioware is going to change anything. So, I hope that my spec that this is correct. I hope that Bioware doesn't change anything. That's my hope. I hope that they don't like I said, I hope I don't I hope that they don't change anything. I hope that the changes that they have made to the game is update the graphics, update the performance, and perhaps, and perhaps out of the old DLC, perhaps there's some new DLC. I don't know. That that some that is something that I would very much be interested in, and I think ninety nine percent of the overall player base of Mass Effect would be very very interested in. New new fucking D DLCs, e extended fucking um, missions with Shepard, but also your squad mates. Hell yeah, that's what that that's what we want. You know, what we don't want is a vocal fucking minority that doesn't even play your fucking games. By the way, we don't want them dictating how the game should be. You sh by the way. You should not be listening to a vocal fucking minority. What are they like? Maybe one or zero point five percent if they do play your fucking games, and they wanna and they think that oh, we cannot look at the Miranda's butt, even though in the same game Jacob fucking Taylor does sit ups bare fucking chested, but no one bats an eye because hmm. Look at those sick abs, and we can't can't appreciate a good butt. Come on, man! Jesus fucking Christ! The whole point, isn't it? In it about having romanceable squad mates is that, oh, that's it. Oh, I like her personality, but I also like her butt. Oh, perhaps I met romance, Miranda. You know, that kind. For fucking women, is like, ooh, he got abs. Perhaps I'll romance Jacob. You know, it's like that, you know. Human ever fucking Lucian is that we look at the, look at, we do look at the body, both men and women, and like, hmm, I want to breed. That's the mentality that us human fucking beings have had since the dawn of fucking time. Why would you change that? Oh, well, people might get offended. Who gives a fuck? Everything that these fucking fucking vo vocal m minority fuckheads who want to change good fucking vi video games into some dog shit tripe, they offend me. And they offend a lot of a lot of the video game player base. And so, and this is not just a Bioware anymore, but for any video game developers, why the fuck would you listen to a vocal fucking minority that doesn't even play your fucking video games? That, that doesn't, that is fucking stupid. Do the logical thing 
the logical thing is to listen to your fucking player base because that's where you make money. You're supposed to be a company to make money, so why would you listen to a vocal fucking minority that makes you lose money? It makes no fucking sense, so stop fucking doing it. Listen to the fucking player base that actually gives you valid fucking criticism, valid criticism, valid feed feedback, learn, fr learn from it, and go th and hmm, and go with and go with that in fucking mind. Don't listen to a vocal fucking minority that doesn't play your fucking video game. When when people are people are fucking raging, oh Miranda's butt, Miranda's butt, you know, over se don't sexualize women. Ask them, do you play our video game? And they and if they say no, tell them to go fuck themselves. Oh. <sighs> Hire me as a fucking P PR for any for, for any and all fucking fucking video game companies. For those vo vocal minority fuckheads, I'll tell you straight. If you know if you don't buy our fucking video game, don't give us criticism. Fuck off. <laughs> Cause at this point, I am sick and fucking tired of of the vocal fucking minority who which is on fucking Twitter. Thank fuck I don't use Twitter. Any fucking more because of that's a fucking cesspit. Oh, thank Christ. But yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna end this with one additional final, um, final warning to buy away. Don't listen. Don't listen to the vocal fucking minority. Listen to long time players and fans of yours because they, as in we, Generally want the best for your games and for the company. <sighs> that's all I gotta fucking that's all I gotta say on the matter. But but one one extra fi final thing. I do think that this could just be a marketing ploy for us all to talk about it what better way for a mark marketing team to get people talking and making you making us youtubers make videos about this is to say in an interview we might be changing something from a uh, fan from a fan favorite character from mass mass effect 2 if that's the case genius that is genius level. But if it's true, then it will be a dark, dark time in hell for Bioware. Because that might be the final nail in the coffin and EA would get rid of Bioware. I don't want that to happen. I really fucking don't want that to happen. I wanted Anthem to succeed. But... Just like Destiny, loot, loot drops, kill, almost killed the fucking game. But anyway, that is uh, uh, sort of like my rant slash warning about uh, about about the Mass Effect, Mass Effect um, Legendary Edition. I'll end up picking it up because I want to see what what is, what happens. You know, I've I've still got the um, the original three fucking games, so I can just install them on my fucking Xbox and play Ma Mass Effect with low, like with uh, dated graphics, dated, dated performance, but not with with not but not with any fucking edits or cuts. If that's the case, then I will be saying that to everyone in in a YouTube video. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I hope by the way doesn't fucking listen to that vo vocal fucking minority on Twitter. I hope they just either either fucking block them or tell them to fuck off. I really fucking hope, hope that, and I hope that they listen to long time by the way fans. Because that's the logical thing to do, is to listen to the fan base that will give you 
actual le legitimate fucking criticism. Anyway, anyway, if you like, if you like this, give me one of these. If if not, well, th thank you for your time, and I hope you have a good day, a good good evening, whenever you decide to watch this video. And I've been talking for fifteen minutes, so I will let you go. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.